look at that. Smoke coming out of the exhaust. <laughs> Motos, Cades, and Coffee. Evening, guys. It's Andy from Motos, Cades, and Coffee. Today, I got something special. I didn't know it was going to happen. My neighbor showed up. He texted me. He said, come take a look at my brother's car. So I'm here today with Sam and Tony and a very special car that we got here. So let's go take a look, and we'll talk uh, about this car. All right. So again, we're here with Sam and Tony, and this is going to be Sam's car. We'll, we'll introduce him here in just a second. Um, Sam... You're a Mopar guy. I know. Well, what do you got here? I Tell never us. I thought I'd get a Cadillac. So let's let's go take a look at this Cadillac. I'm gonna flip flip it around and we'll we'll talk about your machine that you got. Hey Sam, tell me uh, what you got here and and about the trip and everything that you have. Well, we got a 1956 Cadillac 60 uh, Fleetwood Special, and uh, picked her up from North Carolina yesterday, right down outside of Charlotte. Um, great trip. About a uh, say seven hour drive down there. Had a little hiccup on the way back. Uh, about seven hours on the way back. Got back this morning at about 7.30 this morning. Um, truck pulled her great, 4,700 pound car. Same length as a fully loaded uh, Chevy Suburban. And uh, runs, <laughs> drives. Got a, wow. Got a Chevy 350 in her. Okay. The, uh, the original 365 Cadillac engine. Do you know how long it is? It is, I believe, 18 feet long. 18 feet long. And let's see what was pulling it. We got a, a Ram... 3500 3, dually with the Cummins, right? Yes, sir. And I think that Cadillac is longer than your Ram dually. It's, squat, it's squatting too. <laughs> yeah. yep. Woo! Uh, how did the Ram do? Pretty good. Uphill was a little bit of a challenge. It, it was like, wow, I got a little bit of weight behind <laughs> But nothing she couldn't handle. All right. Well, let's take a look at the car. Let me get all around here. And uh, very cool. How did you find it? I was on Facebook Marketplace. Okay. And I was just searching all over the East Coast for old Cadillacs, and this one definitely piqued my interest when I saw it because it's the uh, 60 Special. 60 Special Fleetwood, which is one of the top trim packages. Okay. Got all the bells and whistles for the 1956 uh, model year. So this is a 1956. Um, it looks in actually really good shape. Yeah. Yeah. Um, body. obviously a little bit of you know, a little bit of rust and a little bit of pitting, but uh, yeah. overall the body looks fantastic. Yeah, the car actually came from Texas. Okay. Um, and the frame rails and the whole frame underneath, it, you can knock on it and no rust is going to come off at all. Yeah. Oh, all wow. The seals are shot, but okay. that can't be helped. Okay. There's the original air conditioning compressor right there. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Five pounds of Freon that thing took. Five pounds of Freon. Now, I'm seeing something. This is a huge trunk. You can put, what, like two, three, four, five bodies in here, you think? Yeah. 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 Okay, I, I at, least, at least five bodies. What are those two? You got two blower motors in the trunk. What yeah. are those? So... What we got here is prehistoric AC okay. forced air in. So we got these two cows on each side. Okay. They'll suck in the air. Yep. And it comes through those uh, condensers in the back or the, the blower motors. And it comes through these clear tubes. Up are they the actually tubes. condensers as well too? So I are they believe. cooled? Okay. Yeah, there uh, is yeah. air conditioning condensers <laughs> in the back. Yep. Okay. Is there front air conditioning? Yes. There is. Wow. All right. I'm going to. Take a look. Uh, a little bit of, well, that's not air conditioning. That just might be a little bit of roll. Yeah. But okay, very cool. But that's the only bad rust spot on the entire car is the uh, the floor pan. Okay. Wow. The headliner's not torn off either. No, that's uh, that's not too bad. Look at that. That thing just wrap around dash. Yeah. Very cool. I'm going to ask you about some of the features here in a second. I'm going to get more of the car. All right. Yeah. So this thing has chrome galore and all sorts of different chrome features on it. You got chrome that goes from the front down up to the side that's kind of cool and there's a vent he was talking about yeah. we'll slap around to the back here you got a little bit of arch uh covered wheel wells there yeah, gold looks like side skirts. gold side skirts and i've seen something really cool here what are those that is the exhaust ports the exhaust ports that come out of the bumper back in the 50s they wow were all about airplanes and the space race and having everything wow Fleetwood. Carly Earl, apparently the uh, lead designer for GM back then, wanted right. everything to be sleek and look like a jet engine. Well, that is very cool. I bet you can't. Those those aren't very easily reproduced. Not really. Uh, okay. And, uh, the fun fact about this car yeah. is you can look all over for a gas cap and you won't find it. Well, where's the gas cap, Sam? Right under here. Well, let's see. Whoa, look at that thing. Oh, my gosh. That is pretty wild. <laughs> the other side flips up too, but I don't know for no. what. Is there anything in there? Yeah, we put a 
five gallons of 87 octane in today. I meant in, in this side here. Oh, oh, that side. I don't, I don't believe it that has side a button. Open. Here, put it. Let's see. No, that's solid. No, I was going to say. All right, so this is this side. Yeah, we're trying uh, to fix the trunk lock. Okay. The, uh, the way this works is there's a button on the dash for uh -huh. locking the trunk. That works. The motor up here does. Okay. And this whole system does. The key uh, that goes in there is a little sticky, so that doesn't work. But the actual electric motor down here in the bottom, this is supposed to slide up on this track and get caught and get catch that. Cool. This yeah. is stuck. So yeah. okay. that's why the trunk doesn't close. So he had fun tying it down with a ratchet strap to get home. <laughs> and if you look to the original sticker from 56 on for the jack instructions is up jack there too. Oh wow. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. All right, let's see this side. All right. All right, I think this one was a little closer to the ground, maybe a little, yeah. little green color in there. This side, this side didn't get really hit by the sun. The sun as much. All right, I'm gonna, can I open that door? Absolutely. Yeah, hey, open both doors for me, would you? Yeah. All right. In case you didn't notice, they're brothers. <laughs> the most important thing is that all the chrome is here because that's. Where oh the wow! Look, look at that thing. Whoo! Original interior. <laughs> interior looks pretty sharp. A book. A book will tell yeah, you how to fix everything. Manual. Shop manual. Shop manual. Oh, looks like there's a uh, here. Put the put the, the armrest down. Yeah. There you go. Oh wow, very cool. No every, drink holder, but has ashtrays. So <laughs> of I course. Can, I can smoke my cigars. And right, style. right. <laughs> uh, is this hand crank? Oh wow, hand crank for the for the, uh, the, the, side the, the side windows. That's very and cool. The rear passengers have the quarter the quarter windows. Yeah, they do. You have two steering wheels. No, so that's a cover that, that goes is, in the middle. Yeah, that's the cover. Oh, that's for the horn and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay. And the clock doesn't work, but I I listened earlier. The radio does work, <laughs> but it's just it's just like you can barely hear the static coming out of the speakers. Yeah. So I don't know if the speakers are bad or it's something in there. Now that's Sam was telling me that's a tube radio also. We gotta yeah. get a new mirror. This mirror uh, is messed up. The wipers look like suicide wipers. They they work too. Do they? Wipers truly are functional. Um, okay. they're a little slow. Uh, yeah. But the nineteen fifty six he has power windows, power locks, uh, power seats, and well, uh, power antenna. Yeah, what, power antenna. What's this weird looking thing right here? Oh, that is the atomic eye. Atomic and eye. What's an atomic eye? Or the automatronic eye, they call it. Uh, so when you're driving at nighttime, you got the headlights on, it auto dims the brightness for you. What? This yeah. is 1956? Yeah. Wow, that's and pretty. And she has cruise control, too. And cruise control. Yeah. Is it speed or throttle lock? Uh, I believe it's throttle lock. Okay. All right, can you uh, pop those? Let's see, you got a 350 yeah. in there, you said? Yeah. All right, four barrel, two pop. barrel. Um, I believe. Let's see. We're going to find out, take the air cleaner off. Okay. I think it is a four. Let's see. All right. New battery, it looks like. Yeah. Looks like a four barrel carb. Yeah. Yeah. All I, right. Yeah, we pulled this off earlier. I'm pretty sure it is. I had to okay. tighten up the alternator belt. That was squealing earlier because it was too Power loose. steering. Oh, my gosh. Got, yeah, don't tell me that works. I wish it did. But that's going to scare, like, I don't know, the Titanic from, it's going to raise the Titanic yeah, if you will, blow yeah. that thing. What's cool, too, is that the air conditioning condenser and yeah. the radiator are in great shape. It's just missing a fan shroud. Okay. But the flex fan works good, too. Um, I had to put a gallon of coolant in there earlier. It was low. Um, the receiver dryer is in good condition, too. I, I am very curious as to where the air conditioning ports are, but wait, no, since there's no compressor, they might not be on here. Okay. Transmission fluid's fine. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, this prob is the brakes master cylinder for the brakes, and there's the brake linkage down there. It's on a, a pivot down uh, there. That's a weird master cylinder looking thing. Yeah. yeah. You're Never supposed to take a flat, a square end of a wrench and twist it off, but a lot of guys have troubles with these because they weld themselves in there practically. Okay. <laughs> so that wow. has to get fixed. Okay. And there's your there's your wipe, uh, wiper motor. I yeah. see. Yeah. It's, uh, it might not be stock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, very cool. Um, you got Coker tires on there right now. Yes, sir. Very cool. And it runs and drives? Yes, yes it does. Let's see. Start it up. You got it. That sounds quiet. Whoa, look at that. It's 
smoke coming out of the exhaust. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's like a boat. Sounds really quiet. Yeah. Yes. I bet it drives really smooth with that long wheelbase. That does. What are your plans for it? Bring a little life back into her. Give her some tender love and care. Uh, put little things here and there on my own to make her mine. And. Uh, you're gonna keep the patina, you're gonna completely restore it. I might keep the patina. I like the coloration it's got going, and um, I think it matches the white, matches the uh, the gold Eldorado caps pretty well. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, well, uh, we'll have to get some more video of it. Thanks for Absolutely. showing it. Not and uh, yeah, uh, we'll get some more video. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Tony. And uh, we'll catch you next time.